Do you want to know how to make your frog lures 10 times more effective than when you buy them from the store and take them right out of the box? Well, make sure you watch this video to the end because I'm going to show you exactly how to do just that. The first thing that you need when it comes to doing this is obviously a topwater frog. The second thing that you're going to need is a pair of pliers or vice grips. And the third thing you're going to need is a pair of scissors. So the goal of this video is to increase our hookup ratio with our topwater frog lures. A lot of these frog lures are built a certain way that almost prevent you from catching bass when they bite. A lot of people will disagree with this and a lot of people will agree with this. But the thing about it is you will catch a lot more fish if you do this to your topwater frogs. Some people will say these frogs are supposed to be weedless and they are and they still will be after you do this trick. So the first thing that we're going to do with this frog is we're going to take our pliers, get them right here on this rounded spot you can see it's rounded right there on the hook take your pliers or vice grips stick it right there on the flat part and then you're just going to squeeze not too much there we go that might be just enough now we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the frog Just a nice little squeeze. So now you can see there's a little bit of a gap in between the hook and the body of the frog, which is exactly what you want. You can see that very small space in between the hook point and the body of the frog, which is exactly what you want. When you bend out your hooks, just make sure you do it very, very slightly. Don't bend them out too much or else your frog is going to be useless. And the second thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to trim down your legs a little bit. So these legs here were way too long. I'll show you a piece here because my camera wasn't recording when I did it. But these legs here were way, way too long. So we just took our scissors and we cut them down to about half the length that they originally were. And the reason for that is because when you're popping this thing across the top of the water, these legs are gonna move around. And if they're this long, sometimes they don't fully inhale the lure. Sometimes they just grab the legs and try to pull the frog down. So if you end up trimming down your frog legs, you are more likely to catch that fish rather than it just grabbing it by the legs and missing that hookup. I want you guys to go and try this with your topwater frog lures because I've tried it myself and I've had no issues with it. I've caught a lot more fish ever since I've done this to my frogs and I just think it's a good idea to have those hooks bent out just that little amount. Anybody wants to catch more fish, right? I mean, I know I do. I'm sure you do. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check this one out next because we went on an epic kayak fishing adventure on a flooded lake and we caught some monster bass. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing if you're new here. We do a lot of fishing adventures and fishing tips and give the video a like so it can spread to more people. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next fishing video.